What is going on guys? It's Weds with another video for Nobody Saves the World and today we are going to talk about the top 5 forms that you want to unlock. And if you don't want any spoiler, you don't want to know what the best character is or what is the top one, then I'm going to give you a few seconds to just stay away. And that's it. In any case, now, if you have been paying attention to the game on the internet, you will know that everybody says the dragon is the best character in the game. But, do you think it is the top? Once you get to it, you will know for sure it is if it's the top. But, I gotta be honest with you, the dragon can pretty much do it all. Now, as good and as awesome as the dragon is, you can also fall over if you don't use the right abilities. Now, in the spirit of talking about the dragon being the top form in the game, of course, this is my opinion and the opinion of a lot of other people. I'm going to show you the build that I used to make the dragon kind of invincible in this game. In any case, those are the passives that I use for the dragon. And the first one is the dragon's dread. This is exactly what makes the dragon what it is. And it, it is plus 16 person creatures versus baddies that have negative status effect apply. Basically, all you do is just apply a status effect to an enemy, and then you'll see a lot of crit, a lot of yellow numbers on the screen. So this comes with the dragon, so you can't miss that one. And the second one is a zom nom nom. This is probably basic for everybody that whenever you use a build, then you want to use this if you want to stay alive. So we put that on there and we become kind of invincible with that. And for my third passive, I use the Mermaid's Resolve. Now you don't have to use this, but mana is the name of the game in this game. So if you wanna get some mana, this is the one that you have to use because you get 8% of damage you take is restored as mana. So if you wanna use your ability as much as possible, then you can put that one on. And for the last one, we are using the crit cleric because with the dragon being a crit machine, you'll get your health back in no time if you use this perk. Now let's go down to the active. This is what I use for it. Now, those are going to be contingent on whatever dungeon you are doing or whatever activity that you are doing, what kind of wards or shield that you want to break. And then I also use the fire breath because it comes with the dragon. You're going to crit a lot with this thing on. And then as you can see the clumbo that comes with the dragon and you can slash the hell out of people with this. Now, with all this synergy that we have with all this passive and active that I'm using here, you can turn any of those characters or any of those forms in this game as an invincible machine. You just got to play around with the passive and active abilities and then you go to town on whatever dungeon that you are doing. Having said all that, there is no doubt that the dragon is going to be your best or the top form in this game. Now, my next one on the list as far as the top five is the rat now you must be thinking why would anybody select the rat as a viable option trust me now as long as you spec the rat with the right passive and active you can turn it into a real beast now those are some of the ones that i use for the rat it comes with the scavenge i also use poison tip and also use zom nom nom and then crit cleric and then as far as the active i use gallop and I use the fire breath that you get from the dragon. And then I also use Gnar as well as detonate poison. So if you use those, you should be good to go. But there are so many combinations. You can use anything you want and a lot of things to make some pretty cool build with the rat. And as far as the rat is concerned, there are some places in the game you cannot go without the rat. And there are some part of the game you cannot progress without the rat. So that's why I put the rat in the list. Now, my next one on the top five is going to be the Slug. The Slug is one of the early characters that you get in the game, and it is an absolute beast if you spec it the right way. Now, this is what I normally use with this Slug as far as the passive. The Slug Secret comes with it, and I also use the Crit Cleric, use Person Tip, and Zom Nom Nom. Now, you can use whatever you want as long as it works for you, but those are the ones that I normally use. And for the active, I use the water spray. I use the tear burst that comes with it. 
and I use fireball as well as slime slide. Those are the ones that I use for this slug and it works pretty good. Now the best thing you gotta do is just mess around with all the abilities and see what works the best for you. Our next one on the list is going to be the turtle. The turtle is the best form in the game after the dragon. You can even make an argument to say that the turtle is the best. As long as you get the right build for the turtle, then you should be good to go. And if you want to check out the build that I have with the turtle that makes the turtle invincible, just check out my channel and I will leave a link in the description now where you can check it out and give it a try. Now, let me show you what I normally use for the turtle. For the passive, I use quick charge. It comes with it. Strong man, zom nom nom and then quick click now as far as the active i got slime slide got water spray and hell shell that comes with it and then slow and steady with this build i always become invincible in the dungeon but you can tweak it to make it your own and make it the best you can be the next one and last one that we're going to talk about is going to be the necromancer the necromancer can be put in the top three of all the forms and here's what I have been using with the Necromancer, even at the early stages. So we got Blood Pack that comes with it, and we also have Magic Life, Zom Nom Nom, and I use Poison Dampener. Now you have plenty of other options with the Necromancer, and those are not the best that I would say that you can use with the Necromancer because you can do a lot of experiment, and but those works well for me what I've been using. And as far as the active, I'm getting the Holy Light, the summon demon and what it comes with the necrotic lightning so those are the ones that i use for the necromancer and you can do a lot of stuff with the necromancer and it is a very strong character when you look at this stats it starts at 6150 as far as its health so that's one of the things you got to look at some of the characters even though some of the ones that i show you like the rat etc are in the low side of health but you know you can still make them work just use the other abilities to complement what they already have now a very honorable mention that we can't forget about is the ghost the ghost is a very very good character it's very strong if you use it the right way for the passive i use spooky and also use strongman zom nom nom always there and then the quick click those are some of the ones that i use as far as passive and then for the active i use the gallop i use the fire breath boo that comes with it and ethereal which makes the ghost kind of invincible those are the ones that i've been using and if you use it the right way like i said experiment with the abilities and you should be good to go anyway guys those were my top five and i know it may not be your top five but experiment with the things and see how they play and have some fun thank you guys for watching i will see you guys later